what's up, people? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's your stuff. It's your stuff. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm Jazz and Maggie and we are visiting Cecily's, Cecily's Corner. Corner. So um, we're here at Cecily's Corner in my lavatory. Um, so we're going to get to get to know your questions because I feel like you will get to know me better and you get to know them a little bit better too. So um, who wants to start first? Ladies first. Okay. <clears throat> I've only won like 60 times. Alright. What is your favorite kind of music? Ooh. I think that one's for you, Jess. That was for him? No. Well, we're all like, for both? Oh, we're all saying it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'd say my favorite is oldies. Mm. Oldies. Yeah, yeah. Oldies? Oldies? Um. I actually, I like a lot of different kinds of music, but I have to say my favorite would be throwback gospel and hip hop. But I got love for all the genres, including country. Yes, yes. Um, I like Tim Hunt, and I like Perky and Country. A little bit of Christian and country, mm. but not the same no. way. So, um, oops. Sorry about that. I think I got <laughs> I think what it says is, uh, is, in your free time, what do you like to do? Yeah, that's okay. You should go first, Maggie. I like um, to do projects around the house. Yes, you do. So I like to act like I can build things or um, do crafty things. Just you, know. you look like a crafty person. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, that means you look artsy fartsy, Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> um, my spare time, I love to read. I love to play basketball. I like to work out and I like to meet new people. And what about you, Cecily? I can yell to you. And I like writing poetry. Every time. Next question. <laughs> Maybe this is a bad idea. No, this is a great idea. This is going <laughs> awesome. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so hurt. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Okay, what is your favorite snack? What's your favorite snack? Bacon. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Dipped in chocolate. Dipped in chocolate. Miss. Miss. Leslie. Mmm. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Mm. Nice mm. Okay, okay. What about you, Marguerite? Um, I'd say my favorite snack is carrots and hummus. Mmm. That sounds mm -hmm. like an artsy fartsy snack. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a healthy snack. That's what's up. Not For me, I love peanut butter filled pretzels with Nutella. Okay, so our serious questions. Okay. And I'll be so serious. <clears throat> they should be. Okay, so 
Can you tell us a little bit how people with disabilities affect your life? Um, yeah, I'll start. So my parents are deaf. And um, so I grew up in a, a deaf household. And my um, childhood existed uh, um, going to deaf functions and, and getting to know a lot of my parents' deaf friends. And so um, I interpreted a lot and helped them a lot with communication and that kind of stuff, so. Yes, uh, I actually never really intersected with um, a lot of folks who had um, disabilities on a regular basis until I got married. And uh, then I had the blessing of being really drafted or adopted into the deaf culture. So. I've come to understand um, deaf culture in a way that I never would have even thought of yeah. and come to really kind of see life through their lenses. Um, so being a part of Maggie's family and her being a part of mine has really broadened the way I think about uh, people who live with uh, certain limitations. So the deaf culture mm -hmm. would be my experience. Yes. So. <clears throat> yes, her parents are amazing, even though I don't know them all that well, but from when I do talk to them, they seem like really cool people. Yeah. Well, what, what do you say to someone who has a person in their life that has a disability? Like, I don't know what, like, if for my friends, so I have a disability, and I'm like, like, what would you say to them? I would say that God is so amazing that mm -hmm. he has actually built us in such a way that we would not be independent, but interdependent. <clears throat> so what we would describe as disabilities and limitations, um, they're actually blessings within that because they require us to really live with a level of compassion um, that we otherwise wouldn't necessarily think much about. So, for instance, living with, uh, sharing life with Maggie and getting to know her and her family, it's caused me to see life through the lenses of someone who can't hear. Um, and it gives me a greater sensitivity to folks who um, don't have all of their capacities the way the way that I do so I would say um, it's something that God has entrusted to us um, to embrace people with limitations and disabilities and really see those as opportunities to love people well and uh, because God has built us to be dependent on each other and on him so yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'd say the same thing that, that was well said. And, and I know a lot of times my parents mention, you know, if they had a redo, would they want to be hearing? And they really see being deaf as a blessing. They see it as that's how God created them. And they don't want to change the way God created them. So they've learned to accept it. And I think it's good and healthy for people to understand each other's perspectives. And, yeah. yeah. So. If we were all the same, if we all, like, Hot dogs on like a color red and wear the same clothes. It would be a boring world, and sometimes I have to remind myself that mm. just because I'm different, just because I can't do things at the football games by myself, it's still a blessing to be different. Cecily, <laughs> you know what? You are different in a really awesome way, and you actually, this is how I feel about it. Um, your limitations and your disability, um, in, a, in a way, it actually makes you very special. It creates an opportunity for people to love you. And we're, we're all built to give love and to receive love. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I want you to know that we love you. And I think you navigating life with the disability that you have um, is very inspiring, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it brings out something in people where we recognize, man, she's got a courage and a strength 
that I don't know that I have, and it really causes us to admire and to love you, maybe even more than we would, I think, if it if you had it all together on a physical level. So we're built for love, and we're built to lean on each other. So, so this is Maggie and Jack again, and he's my pastor, but um, also my uncle. I love saying that. Um, and so we have a lot of laughs together where I start crying because I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> so um, thank you guys for watching. I to um, please leave comments down below um, in my Instagram or my Facebook. And <laughs> um, please just um, share this with people and remember to always try your best and I hope you guys have a good week I hope to see you guys soon bye bye